Bien sûr, it's your ever faithful French friend here again to help you learn the language of Sacha Distel and without even having to open a dictionary, hein? just like Sacha Distel, who never opened a dictionary either. So let's look at the menu for this new edition of Rapido, which I can tell you will really be jolly interesting. Yes, yes, yes. See for yourself. Kate Bush, Big Audio Dynamite, Dion, Johnny Marr, and wait, wait, wait. As we are real gentlemen, it's ladies first. And we open this edition of Rapido and our arms too to Kate Bush. I should tell our young viewers, she is no relation to George, hein, the president of the United States, even though uh, they have both sung with Peter Gabriel, especially Kate. <laughs> At Rapido, we are very fond of Kate Bush and her baroque eccentricities, her flights of fancy, big doe eyes and golden voice. So, my English friends, you have good reason to be delighted because her album, The Sensual World, is on sale in two days' time. Meanwhile, to help you wait, here is Kate on Rapido. Sensual World is Kate's first collection of new songs in four years. Advanced reports of the album have already raised a few eyebrows. I should have made the mistake of saying that um, I, felt, I felt that this album was my most personal and most female so far. And um, everyone has been saying to me, what do you mean by female? And um, it's just a feeling, really, that... Um, it just feels more of an expression of myself as a woman this time. Much of the new LP was recorded at Kate's home studio in Kent, but its musical contributors come from far and wide. They include French harpist Alan Stivell, who obviously wasn't put off by Kate's tea-making. I've been a big fan of Alan's music for quite a while. And I thought how nice it would be to get him to come in and play some harp. And about two days later, this letter turned up, out of the blue. I mean, I'd never met the guy or spoken to him or anything. And it was a letter from Alan saying that um, he'd really like to work with me. And he didn't know if I'd heard his music, but... And it was like, uh, you know, within the space of two days, he'd suddenly come into the air. And uh, so that was how we met and, and worked together. The other guests on the sensual world are Bulgarian singers, the trio Bulgarka, and an old friend, Dave Gilmore from Pink Floyd. It was so good for me to come this full circle where, as you know, Dave was very involved in getting my initial uh, signing to the record companies. And uh, I kind of written this song and I knew I wanted the Bulgarian singers to, to, to be the main body of the song. And uh, the idea is at one point in the song, the character dresses up as a rocket and jumps off this bridge. And it just felt so right that Dave Gilmore should be the rocket, you know, sort of off the bridge. You know, he's kind of the guitar hero, isn't he? You don't want to hurt me. Yeah, yeah. See, I would give you the word There was a time when Kate could turn out two albums in the same year and then go off on a major tour. Nowadays, the excitement of an LP release is more likely to make her disappear for a few years. I feel it's important for me to retreat and to 
I don't see myself as a famous person, as a personality. It's really just me pushing my work. You know, I have to come and promote my work, not me. So as soon as the work has been promoted, then I can go back to doing the work and not promoting it. So I tend not to get involved in a lot of areas of the business and um, to sort of stay quiet until I've got another album out. <laughs> debut some 11 years ago provoked an epidemic of weak knees amongst schoolboys and grown men alike. Many have never recovered and in fact seem to get worse with each new bush sighting. Well, um, I think they must be completely mad. <laughs> it's extraordinary. You know, I find that even more extraordinary than the fact that people are willing to wait four years and then want to buy an album and the, the fact that people still even bother to ask me if I'm going to tour, you know. I think you're all completely mad, and, <laughs> you know, thank you very much, but, uh... <laughs> you can never be too careful huh, when children are sick. Take Mick Jones, for example, who ten years ago was terrifying the bourgeois as part of the clash. Suddenly, last year, he came close to leaving this valley of tears, where, as you know, we are but walking shadows, because, like a fool, he caught a chicken pox from his daughter. Fortunately, the god of rock and roll was watching over him, and it is with delight that we can rejoin Big Audio Dynamite, or, as you, my English friends, say, bad. A Big Audio Dynamite who are today fighting fit and in their own...